one year and asking that Allah forgive us our shortcomings where we came wrong, where we didn't accomplish what Allah wanted for us to accomplish and forgive us and make an angel for us that completes our ibadah in perfection and that that ibadah be something pleasing to Allah's rida and satisfaction and to dress our souls from its lights and its blessings. Alhamdulillah the holy month of Muharram inshaAllah opening and we're asking for no haram and that we take a path leaving from badness going to higher levels of goodness and stepping with our right foot into that reality and asking that as Allah in these 10 days, uh, most blessed 10 days, every, every blessing inshaAllah to come. The first month is the secret of Surat al-Tawbah, the first month is under the, the guidance of the first Khalifa Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, as-Siddiq al-Mutlaq and alhamdulillah that we're under his holy family by the Naqshbandiya tariqah. The one tariqah that is under that heart and under that divine the guidance of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq salam Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah and then Allah made the month even more beatific and put it under the first of the 12 Imams of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad under the nazar of Imam Ali So with all of these blessings we understand how much Allah sends a blessing upon the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad at every, at every moment Allah looking to bless the nation for the love that he has and this eternal love that he has for the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and that that nation to be a most victorious nation. That Allah's hidden truth and hidden reality within that light and Allah's sign of sincerity for those whom are seeking that, do you see my light? on that path. From whatever background you come when you're sincere and Allah put into your heart, do you hear the recitations of the Qur'an, do you see the example through the people of Islam, their fasting, their ibadah, their worshipness, their, their clothing, their ways of the heavens and do you see that and Allah is a hidden treasure and hidden secret wanting to be known. And when the servant has that love and that sincerity Allah grant them to be known and they come towards Islam, they come towards the calling of Islam, they come towards the calling of the realities of the heaven. And alhamdulillah that the Muharram is the month in which we are moving towards that pilgrimage, moving towards that reality, asking to be dressed by it, blessed by it as every nation was saved and granted their ashura, granted the openings of the world of light. That for every struggle, every nation and every prophet, in every struggle that they had Allah opened in the holy month of Muharram. On the holy days of the 10 days and the 10th day being the ashura, shanura is the immense opening of lights. That the najat and salvation for Sayyidina Adam salam because for us the levels of the heart are the houses of the Prophets. They are all under the house of Allah The Sayyidina Adam salam comes to us that this Muharram ask that Allah grant you a najat, grant you salvation. Ya Rabbi that I came onto this earth but I was of a paradise reality. Many have lost their way, become distracted from dunya. Sayyidina Adam inspires that ask Allah for najat, ask Allah for relief through difficulties and then teaches the secret of his du'a that he made many du'as for 40 years until he remembered what Allah sent and Sayyidina Jibreel sent him to go to to visualize what he saw of the paradise realities and he remembered, Ya Hamid Abu Haqq Muhammad, 
يا علي بحق علي يا الله هو الخالق بحق فاطمة زهرة يا رحمن بحق الإمام الحسن يا رحيم بحق الإمام الحسين and immediately when he asked in those names Allah was so happy by these names they said that had you asked anything by the sanctity of these names I would have granted to you. And only Allah come into our life and teach that that, that du'a and asking in those names and in these holy names that Allah grant us our safety. Ya Rabbi that we came onto this earth and we're coming short, we came onto this earth and we've been distracted by shaitan. Grant us our nijat, grant us a salvation, grant us your forgiveness so that the stations of raising can begin and raise us back to our heavenly nature and to our spiritual reality. That we came from paradise and we came for just a, a physical experience and to paradise we belong and to paradise inshaAllah we return. That inshaAllah accept these du'as and Sayyidina Nu comes into our life and teaches that I built the ship for 40 years and on Ashura these rains began, Muharram the rains began and when my ship finally set a sail that how Allah granted an, a najat to the nation of Sayyidina Nu salam. The Sayyidina Nu's nation was saved on Ashura that the sailing the rain began before that but the Ashura was granted the salvation and the safety of the ship to land on a dry land. And we ask that Allah grant us from the reality of that ship which is our faith. Our life is a continuous building things that nobody can see, practicing things that nobody understands and everybody has a ship and their ship is their soul. And only they know what Allah has commanded to them, what Allah has inspired to them. And everybody look like ajeeb to other people that why you have to do that, why you have to do these practices, why you have to mention your Lord like this, why you have to do all of these things. And Allah granted an ajad through the oceans of evilness and tribulations and trials. We pray that Allah grant our soul to arrive on blessed soil, the leaving the, the soil of dunya and entering into the soils of paradise and paradise heavens. That Allah grant our soul a salvation through these oceans and tribulations of difficulty and that we be granted a station in which to land and the lights of our soul and lights of our faith to shine and to come out of its darkness and into the lights of reality. Means for every nation Allah granted immense salvation, we pray that in this Blessed month of Muharram Allah dress us and bless us with its immense reality is an immense salvation, immense maqirah and forgiveness. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.